Hey guys, Renny here with Off Grid Trek. I just wanted to do a quick comparison. I'm going to show that I just want to give you guys an idea of how heat affects solar. And I'm going to use two of our solar arrays. We've got a thousand watts of solar blankets, so five 200 watt solar blankets just laying flat on the ground. They're plugged into this EcoFlow Delta Pro. We've got, just trying to get the right angle so you can see, just under 900 watts going in. We might creep up to just, yeah, there we go. There's just over 900 we saw going in. Uh, right now, I'm going to be as quick as I can. We're just before that cloud comes. So let's just call it 900 watts for easy math. That's what's going coming in. Now, those solar blankets are 23.5% efficiency rating. Now, I'm going to use um, as a comparison, and I'll, I'll go up on the roof and I'll, I'll take some photos or a quick video of that as well. We've got 1,200 watts of our flexible solar panels. Um, so six 200 watt panels up there, but they're 24 and a half percent efficiency rating. So they're even higher than our solar blankets. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to, I'm going to disconnect this, uh, this, the EcoFlow Delta Pro here from our thousand watts and I'm going to connect it. I've got a little bit of a rat's nest here, but this is our solar cables right here. I have just, I plumbed them out so we could see. So let me disconnect again. Here we are just under a thousand watts now let's compare to a 1200 watt array which you would think would get a lot more you think you'd be based on what we're seeing here close to 1100 watts going in but let's just compare real quick i'm going to set the camera down let me disconnect everything and hold on there guys i am just going to connect these and there's a reason behind this I'll go through all of this in a moment so we're now connecting the th or the 1200 water ray which like I said I'll show you guys some um, I'll climb up there with the camera off and I'll show you how that looks in a moment okay so we're just gonna wait for this to creep up here so our 1200 water ray and there's a reason I'm going through all of this there we go. Really, really good readings for a 1200 watt array on the top of a trailer, which is absorbing a lot of heat. And that's what we're going to talk about is how heat affects solar. And this is, we're just using two examples here. So let's call that, okay, 960 watts versus 900. So there's a 60 watt difference. You would theoretically think you would see 100. 150 watt difference somewhere in there based on what we're seeing using these two comparisons also looking at our solar blankets on the ground are 23 and a half percent efficiency rating which is phenomenal and the solar that we have on the roof and we are hoping to be able to bring this to market if we have a supply chain in the fall they're 24 and a half percent efficiency rating right now today is july 1st i'll just get out of there and we are almost 10 to 3 at 51 degrees north latitude so the sun's not the highest on the horizon so why am i talking about heat we have had a lot of customers contact us and they've seen our videos where we're we have a 200 watt solar blanket out and we're producing 200 watts now i just want to point out to everybody because i want to make sure there's no false expectations you don't get that all of the time right now you're getting an idea based on where the sun's at where we're located the power that's going in based on those five 200 watt solar blankets. So that's phenomenal for this time of year, for us to be getting that. Now keep in mind, if we're a half hour later, if let's say we're 3.30 or four, well, we're probably gonna drop down 100-ish watts because the sun starts going lower on the horizon. So the only time you do get um, readings like that is when the, the sun's at its highest peak and as long as you don't have clouds. And right now, well, we're still doing really well here. 954 55 yeah watts going in so with back to heat with the solar blankets how they're just laying on the ground here they're absorbing way less heat i'm going to uh i'm going to pause this and then i'm going to climb to the top and i'll show you what i've done to the roof um how i've attached them there granted the roof is white so it, it's not a black surface but it's it's still absorbing heat like i'm in shorts and i would not want to kneel on the roof because it's going to be pretty hot i know right now we are at 27 degrees celsius i'd have to verify what that is in fahrenheit i'm not 100 percent sure but i'll put that in there it's uh you know it's 
It's not like we're at the equator, but it is pretty hot here for us. But for us to get readings like this, I'm just showing you the spread, the difference. It was about 50, about 60 watts difference. So realistically, if we had those 1200 watts laying on the ground here, they should have been producing because it would have been not as hot with uh, with the grass, they would have been producing well over 1100 watts based on what we're seeing right now. So where I'm going with that is, when you're laying out your solar, be it our solar blankets or any solar, if it's anywhere that it's gonna absorb heat, let's say if you lay out our solar blanket on your concrete driveway as an example, keep in mind, not only is a solar blanket absorbing heat from the sun, it's absorbing heat from the concrete. Another example, I have 4,400 watts of solar on my garage. My garage has black shingles. My solar specifically has, it's black. I did that purposely. Now the negative thing to that is in the hot, hot summer days, unless I'm up there with the hose hosing it off, um, I'm not getting the results I'd like to see. But I, I did that for a specific reason. So there's a purpose for why I did that. So uh, regarding this though, um, I'll just, I'm going to turn off the camera. I'm going to climb up to the top, let you guys see. But um, yeah, it's uh, just, just keep in mind, guys, heat does affect solar. It's, um, if you have the option of laying down on the grass, our solar blankets, that's going to be the best option. Um, on the hood of a vehicle, it's going to absorb, uh, it's going to absorb heat on concrete, on sand, um, any of those things. Let's say if you're on concrete, well, maybe if you had a pallet or something, put it on that. So there's a little bit of airflow underneath that'll help as well too. But I just wanted to give you guys an example based on that. And here, why don't I do this? I will plug in. Oh no, we got the cloud there. Either way here, I'll turn the, I'll turn off the, um, uh, the camera here. I'll go to the top. I'll show you the solar array that we put up there just to give you an example. And uh, yeah, like I said, I just wanted to go over this, show you guys how effective the best way to use our solar blankets is leave them on the ground. Don't, don't, don't put them on concrete. Don't, uh, don't put them on the hood of a vehicle on the hottest part of the day. Uh, they're, they're still going to work, but just keep in mind, solar loves sun, but it doesn't love getting overheated. I know ours are rated higher than most of what else, uh, what others, or a lot of the others that are on the market. So they will perform better but I'm just showing you all solar will be affected by heat, okay? So let me just pause this, and then I'm gonna to go to the top and show you guys. And we got a cloud coming in. Yeah, we got a pretty big cloud, so we're dropping down to just, just over 300 watts with our 1200 watt array, but that's still awesome, 340. Yeah, just under 340 watts going in, 345. So yeah, that's that's still really good. That shows how efficient our our solar is, be it our flexible, and our solar blankets. And and by the way, don't ask us in the comments about our 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 um, flexible solar panels. The goal is to to be able to offer that in the fall, like I said. But that's as long as we have a supply chain, which we're crossing our fingers we will. Okay, I'm gonna pause this here real quick. I'll climb to the top and I'll just give you a quick inspection, show you what I've done up there with the two 600 watt panels. Let me rephrase that, the six 200 watt panels. <laughs> and I'll show you what that looks like up there. Okay, be back in a minute, guys. Okay, I'm on the roof now. I just wanted to show you guys the six 200 watt uh, flexible solar panels I've attached here. So here's one, two, three, five and six of them and how I've attached them. Um, and as you can see, there's not really anything for airflow. I've used a one-sided uh, RV type tape uh, just to attach these here. Uh, and by the way, I looked at the temperature. It wasn't, um, just to kind of give you an idea, we are at 30 degrees Celsius, and I guess that is 86 Fahrenheit. So that kind of gives you a, a rough idea of, um, you know, we got mosquitoes out here. So just to give you guys a rough idea of how that's gonna work. But yeah, like, uh, I wanted to show you this just to give you an example. So these are absorbing a lot of heat because they're on the roof. So they're not on the grass. There's not really anything for ventilation underneath them or any way to circulate air. So the point I'm making is our thousand watt or five 200 watt solar blankets on the ground there, totaling a thousand watts, was producing, both of these arrays are producing phenomenal power based on 
the, the time of day that we're at, where we're located, and how warm it is. But I was just giving you an example showing how percentage-wise the uh, five 200-watt solar blankets on the, on the ground were actually producing more power uh, than the six 200-watt panels because of the fact that these guys on the ground are actually a lot cooler. Like they're not, you know, they're still going to be warm to the touch, but they're a lot cooler than these panels that are affixed to the roof where the roof is absorbing heat, not just the panels. And then the panels are absorbing the heat from the roof. So that's where I was using that example, guys. Think of that with your concrete driveway. Think of that if you're on, you know, a rock that's absorbing a lot of heat or you're on sand. Just, you know, pick, if, if you don't have any other choice, you don't have any other choice, that's understandable. But if you do have the option, go to a type of surface where you can, it's not going to absorb as much heat. Um, and then you're going to see the solar produce even better results. That's the other thing. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys that. And other than that, I just wanted to mention um, it's Canada Day for us. It's 4th of July for you guys soon. So definitely happy Canada Day to all my fellow Canadians. Happy 4th of July to all of, uh, all of our friends down in the U.S. Um, yeah, hopefully everybody, everybody has an enjoyable, normal weekend. Nothing's been normal lately. And I uh, just wanted to mention, we also, uh, we do have stock available. If there's anything you folks are needing, we all, we get we're asked literally daily, do you have stock? And we do. I made sure to have two years worth of product here because the writing was on the wall with what's coming. So I just wanted to mention that to everybody. We do have stock available. We're ready to ship. We have product in Canada uh, for our Canadian customers. We have our solar blankets. They ship from Canada as well. Um, so if you see a shipping charge, that's what it's for. It's, it's coming across the Canadian U.S. border for our U.S. customers. Um, we have EcoFlow Deltas, Delta Pros, any of those power stations that are ready to ship in the warehouse in Texas and California for our U.S. customers and in Richmond for our Canadian customers. So we are ready to go, guys. Let us know if you need anything. If you need anything customized, we at least twice a day we're customizing packages, very large packages for customers. Um, yeah, let us know if you have any questions. I'd be happy to, to answer you, answer those for you. If I don't answer right away, leave a voicemail. I do my best to respond within 24 hours, but keep in mind, literally, we're working from sunup to sundown uh, every single day right now and trying to take weekends off, but it's not always working. But that's that's uh, the nature of it. Everybody Everybody's looking for a product, which uh, I'm, I'm very happy that we can help out with that. Okay, enjoy the rest of your day, guys. Enjoy your weekend. Everybody have uh, an enjoyable town. And yeah, i got to say this is awesome results from the 1,200 water rate and the 1,000 water rate, but that shows you the difference um, on how heat works with that. Okay. We'll talk to you soon guys. Bye then.